good afternoon students today good afternoon everybody so today we are going to start our next chapter that is that is chapter 7 advanced features of html i have shown you many programming but today what we will do i'll first explain you the chapter and after that i will just give you some programs that you have to write and you have to do it okay so let's talk about it we have been introduced uh, already we know the basic format tags which we were using now we would be talking about list what is list a list is the most effective way of presenting information in precise manner whether it is the minutes of the meeting for example you all are working i want to make a list of your class and if i make a list uh, i i ask pari to make a list and in the list there should be everything your address should be there i have told pari your father's name mother's name each and everything should be there and on other hand i have asked arnab to just make the things in a way that make one list of parents name make one list of uh, other things it would be very difficult from arnab's data to find out which what things we are finding out but it would be very easy to find the things from pari's list because pari's name would be there and some other person's name would be there and you have to just find the thing properly so it is very easy for example in the school which your records are been maintained your records have eaten everything in front of pari or arnav's name there would be eaten everything father's name mother name aadhar card number your mobile number your address your class so this is a way the list makes things easy because we can get each and everything from just one place okay so list is of two types unordered list and ordered list what is unordered list now let's come for unordered list first of all learn that the tag for which we use for unordered list is ul ul is the tag which we use for unordered list and to close it we use slash ul okay unordered list are the items that are not displayed in a particular sequence for example the list can be pari arna priyansh farman kitansh the list is in this way but if i make it in ordered way and i have ordered it in alphabetical order then what would be the order that first arna would be there then farman would be there then hitansh would be there after that pari and then priyansh so it would be more easy for me to find the things because i have to go alphabetically instead of just turning the page and finding out that now a is there b is there then sudden a is again there so in unordered list we are not able to recognize the thing properly like in it pen eraser pencil stencil keyboard each and everything is made it in a unordered way but what is a tag it is used it is used li for list the tag is used li okay in it it will show you the both types of tag unordered also and ordered also with that we come to the next page let's come to please uh, mark this program is important because you all would be doing this program in the uh, in your computer or pc so that you all would be know how to work on it after that we come to the ordered list ordered list i have already told you what is the order that everything should be numbered i would mention ki you should sorted by the new admissions later on me jiska admission pehle ho gaya uska name pehle aa jaye jiska admission baad mein hua so that i can understand what is the admission number i can find the details or it should be alphabetically it matters na that everything is alphabetically or not so what is ordered list and what is unordered list unordered means in which the sequence is not defined and ordered means in which we are defining each and everything that what we are required to have the thing then we come to the third thing that is ordered list attributes of ol ol means ordered list unordered list ka tag kya tha aapke paas ul and unordered uh, ordered list tag is ol it starts the attribute means the number would be starting from 1 it is telling us it is we are writing the program in it that first you have to write the number 1 then number 2 you have to just mention ki in which order you want the things so i would be uh, making you do the programs in the class only as we used to do i'll type the programs and then i'll show you the output 
what is the output of that thing but the for the short it is that key reverse should be there that i can mention anything in odd order like i can say ki ascending order mein number aane chahiye descending order mein number aane chahiye a to z aane chahiye z to a aane chahiye new admission to old aane chahiye old admission to new aane chahiye that is completely on me what i want to decide for my order okay then let's come to the next part what is it our next part is types of attribute what are the type syntax they are telling us because every text what is the syntax what is the meaning of syntax syntax means the writing style jo har kisi ka particular style hota hai for example like you are having a syntax of starting a sentence that sentence should always begin with a capital letter and it should end with a full stop so what is the syntax for ordered list that you have to type uh, ul type and you have to write the value which you are writing similarly for unordered list you have to write ol and you have to write the value also here they are showing the result for example the unordered list was there disk circle and square this was the result but when we put it put it in a ordered list was it would be changed okay so like they are finding ol type 1 then 1 2 3 sequence defaultly it will come ol type a so wo 3 tak apne aap aage le jayega a b c you have to just type the starting value and it will type in itself and it doesn't matters ki aap capital letters type kar rahe ho ki small letters capital letters are known as upper case and small letters are known as lower case please don't get confused upper case is known as the capital letters and the small letters are known as lower case okay now tables what is the use of table table like for example this is a form of table what is a table table makes thing more easy and understandable means how we can understand the things if i am not having a table then i'll write s number somewhere then different but if you are having a table everything would be defined properly one neha grade a plus but if i'll not write the uh, i'll not make the table then it would be very difficult to tell that whose roll number is 1 and whose roll number is 2 so table again makes the things easy as you are having a headings also in the table ki here name is written here grades are written here s number is written if table is not there how you would know that what is this one this is the position this is the number this is the marks you don't know anything about it okay so this is the use of table which we were talking about let's come to the next that there is a format i told you know that in programming language you have to follow the syntax properly okay so for your table the tag line is table only not shortcut because an unordered list is for ul ordered list is ol list is li but for table it is table only or you can write for table td they have used td also for row tag they have used for column option they have used it for td then tr is there and th is there so please this is your homework today you have to find where td is used where tr is used and where th is used please note down this is your homework for today that you have to tell me where these tags are been used okay we'll be doing the programming right now only so that you all don't get confused and you all know the things about it let's go for table properties what are the properties of the table in the table you should know what kind of a border you want what is the value from where you have to start the s number as i told you in ms access primary key should be there which should not repeat in everything horizontal alignment should be there vertical alignment should be there okay so these are the things which you have to make important now i'll unmute you and first of all i'll like to take your queries and then we'll do the programming first i'll show you how to do the programs 